Good afternoon, sports fans. My name is Magnitude. Javi. And I am Ryan, or as my dad <laughs> likes to call me, gay. Leave a like if you enjoyed uh, and comment if you if you do that. Those likes and comments help our channel grow uh, and, you know, keeps, keeps us happy. We got Jesus in the house leading off the show. He's taking on Darth Jesus Maul for in the building. Super Flare title. At the, uh, yeah, which it is going to be this soon. As we next week, too. I'm not quite sure, but here okay. is Jesus Christ. We, we, in, in, yeah. Jesus Christ. Literally. In right single. Jesus Christ, superstar. Last week, beating, last week beating uh, Space Ghost and Paul Yeah, he become the new number one contender and, and immediately tire, forced right. in a singles competition against an, a mystery opponent today. I say that because I literally forgot who he's facing because I oh. recorded it so long ago. So let's see who that is. I'm excited to see who it is. I know there is a promo in this video, Ryan, so get ready. At, at some point, I don't remember when, but Archie's looking for uh, the right. tag team partners. You know, he's got to find them. Yeah, he's, he's, getting, he's, getting, he's getting asked by, by a lot of people. Characters. He's a famous Who guy. Who is his opponent? Oh, it's Kazuya. Okay. Yeah, so oh, Tekken! Movie. It's Tekken right here. Tekken. There you go. Oh, really? Today. Uh, yes. Tekken, which is actually today. out, uh, it's out at the today. time of recording. You buy it, it out, and yeah. then tell them we sent you to buy it. Maybe they'll give me a good one. Yeah, actually, I us. hope Kazuya wins this match. Uh, it's going to make Jesus look weak, but it'll help boost Tekken sales, probably. If Kazuya... No, Kazuya's back, by the way. He's, he's coming like, to Tekken's he out He's, been he's, here he's for recording a while. Uh, motion capture for Tekken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a, oh this this is actually kind of a poetic battle because Indeed, Kazuya has the does. devil and gene. It was a lot of fun to use in Tekken 2 in the arcade when I used to play that. That was a Tekken 2. It was, it was Jin. No, it was Devil Jin. Oh, yeah, was yeah. It? Devil Jin. No, no, it was, that was Tekken 4. Uh, might have been. You know what? You're probably right. I don't know. There's the. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. In Tekken 3 was Angel and Devil. But it, was, it wasn't. The same one that Kunimitsu was in, too, right? Second 3. And Horang. I remember there being. Yeah, there was an arcade machine at a camera. Yeah, yeah, that was Tekken 3. I game all the time. And I, like, one of the things that is going to happen when I get, like, rich. Because yeah. it's going to happen. It's just. It's, it has to. I'm buying a. I'm buying. I'm buying a Tekken. You're gonna 3, buy a bunch of arcade, uh, arcade machine, and I'm buying four Daytona 500 arcade like games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can have yes. like four player yes. like races. That's, nice. that's, those are my yeah, two places I'm get when I make a lot of money. In addition to making my house enough, have enough space. Anyway, Jesus going right after Kazuya. He's taking on Darth Maul either this week or next week. But I'm kind of going for uh, Kazuya. Yeah, I'll just go Jesus because uh, you know go, he's our go god, Kazuya. an awesome gunning god. I'll go Kazuya just specifically goes. because uh, Tekken Seven is out in stores and on Steam. I'm actually I might please get Tekken please sponsor us. What a kick now. by Kazuya! PS4. Uh, which console would you be getting it for? You as well. Platform. Okay. Dude, just what a uh, punch I, by I Kazuya! Try. I think your head was a little heavier. Four twenty right now. Oh. Knee by Jesus. Oh, We're at 425. Okay. Yeah. And oh, what? Geez. That was an acrobatic, like, t t attack. It, w it wasn't like leg pull thing. <laughs> shoulder block by Kazuya. Yeah. Stomping Jesus out of the way. No, man. Jesus doesn't, you know, he was stuck in the, the hole or whatever he was <laughs> he for was three days. He was stuck in the hole. He, he, he wasn't he able was. to test out on other people. <laughs> for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, yeah, it was whatever. <laughs> no, it was on that little ramp he had, you know. Just that little ramp. <laughs> yeah. Yo, okay. Speaking of biblical stuff, oh, what a clothesline by Kazuya, first of all. Apparently, apparently there is a Beyblade, like thing now uh, where there's a flashback <laughs> of Moses parting the Red Sea with a Beyblade. So, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I remember seeing that. Like, is I, actual I, I can't like, Beyblade thing confirm or? if it was. It was on Twitter. Okay, it was probably some like fan art then, <laughs> like some silly fan art because they thought it would be funny if Moses <laughs> like, parted the Red be... Sea with a baby. <laughs> if I had, if I had the, 
<laughs> Dude, like, if I, I mean, had the yeah, animation how else budget, would he have done I would it? go back in time right now and like I would like I would like um, do something where I like, I like crucify Jesus on a fidget spinner or something, you know? Like if I had <laughs> If I, if I had the, money, the budget, I don't have the budget. For that, if I, it... And then, and then it, when everybody's sh- uh, like shocked and everything from this crucifixion, take out a little Beyblade arena and then spin a Beyblade into it. No, then you say vote for Trump, and then you jump back into a port into the future. <laughs> <laughs> the cover of Kazuya one, two, kick out by Jesus. Two. Oh, on the fidget spinner. Yeah, just, just stuff like that. I would do. <laughs> so, oh, so would he? So would his though, body slowly, be like spinning slowly. around on it? Kind of, like, think, <laughs> think of like, um, think of like the giant wheel in the Wheel of Fortune. You know, how, how like right at the end, it's going super slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just grab it. And what? Just oh, it a choke! <laughs> what a rock bottom by Jesus! <laughs> he oh, rock bottom. Remember, he's one. friend with the rock. Two. The rock has a he passed the fall for Kazuya for Three. Jesus. Yeah, God was a huge fan of uh, the Tooth Fairy, and God was a huge King. fan of the Scorpion <laughs> King. He's, uh, really helped him. Uh... These are my <laughs> favorite movies. One. I shot two. Uh, Re- Revelation, <laughs> Revelation twenty three twenty six, and the Lord said, "The Rock is totally epic." <laughs> what? <laughs> but wa- watch Scorpion King out now on Blu-ray and DVD at your lo- lo- local Walmart. Clubbing blow by Jesus. <laughs> Dang. I, hey, God. Said it. it's, it's in the Bible. You know, I can't deny it. <laughs> I wonder if uh, if any publishers of the Bible have like tried to slip in something like in the just right in the middle of the Bible and some like unpopular piece of it that says like uh, by the way kick no out one's gay, by LOL. Jesus like something like that and like see if anybody would would like catch it. yeah upper hand right now I mean, throwing I Jesus know. to the mat <laughs> and then taunting a little bit. Oh, taunting Jesus little bit. Is around. Jesus, though, fighting back. Yeah. Kazooie on his back. A little schoolboy inside oh, critical by Jesus. Ask. One. Kazooie does a job breaker. Two kick out. Near fall. Near fall. Two. The crowd oh, loving it. Wow. They just love. Well, love maybe we're in Jerusalem. So that's present day Jerusalem it. might be a little indifferent on Jesus right now, but. De- definitely back in the day. It was, if we were in a time machine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh Jesus! Yeah, and Kazuya is just gonna district. Oh, what a sit down power bomb! Pulling him up from the. He was sitting, and sit then he power picked bomb. him up and sat him back down again. The cover by yeah. Kazuya one, it's a, two uh, kick out at two. Who Here comes that? <laughs> two. It's <a> Chad Gable. Oh, <laughs> oh. B- bummer. It is Chad Gable. <laughs> The real wrestler, Brian, we're going to make it up like some bro name. It's, a, it's Chad Gable. He is. He's part of the American Paul, Alpha Tag Team. They're actually really yeah. good. Like, they can put on Martin good matches. Phoenix. They're great. Kazuya. Gun he's, he's, a, he's a big fan of Tekken, so that's why he's out here. Oh! oh God. my God! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Ain't no resurrecting from that shit, goddamn. <laughs> Ain't no resurrecting. <laughs> Kazuya, Kazuya planting him. Hook of the leg. One, Jesus. two. No, oh, kick out at two. Two. Because he oh, came back from the grave. Jesus still kick out after that. Jesus. He really is dying for our sins, dying isn't he? No, he's dying for our we, pins. We've been over this. Oh yeah, dying for our <laughs> pins. Excuse me. Yeah. You know Chad Gable, not a fan of what's happening to Jesus right now. Oh, the the, the devil inside uh, Kazuya is causing him to taunt the Lord and Savior. <laughs> Let's see. Or, or maybe he just didn't like Passion of the Cross. You know? Yeah, that too. Yeah. Maybe he's not a big fan of Mel Gibson in general. 
Jesus knocking away Kazuya. Oh. Oh, Jesus is starting to get a... Oh, he misses a kick, though. <laughs> Kazuya again! Hook of the leg! One! Kazuya. Two! Jesus! That's it! That's it! Two. Jesus! Oh, really unable to overcome oh, wow. the, the release of a highly touted video game. Wow. He, yeah. He, he tried, though. I'll tell you, he, he tried. Can't beat that. This, this wasn't a marketing ploy, I promise you. Okay. Though it might have been. It probably wasn't, but... <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're not That'll paying me to say this, to but you know, here we are. Yeah. So, Kazuya with a impressive win over Jesus. Yeah, we had... Impressive. On his return, too. He's been gone for a while. And, a uh, big win for him. Remember he had that suit for a while? He came out drunk, remember that? He had that, like, that purple and black suit. And he came out drunk. So, you know, that wasn't saying a great message to the children. <laughs> Excuse remember that? Excuse me? <laughs> I just want to no. say... Uh, yeah, he like came out. He had like drunk like entrance. Is this it like, right here? Oh entrance. no, never mind. That wasn't. You remember here. that? Well, watch up. Gotta get no. some culture in you, bro, or whatever. Uh, I don't, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Diggity dog. I wanted to see a replay of when Kazuya fucking slammed Jesus down and then punched him in the face. <laughs> What a comeback win for Kazuya. I'm sure he's pumped to be here. And Jesus, though, going into his title match, yeah. really got to be uh, not a win. But now, here we not are. The win. final two members of the Elimination Chamber for the... Speaking of people who's not going yeah, go, go to go into a title we've match. With everything. So Optimus Prime was the first yeah. one uh, cleared. Goku, then Jin. And Goku. And now Ash and Ryu here set to square off in Uno e Uno. Come. Yeah, yeah dude, Ash has never Indigo been a He did a final thing once. Has he ever, he did, right? And then he faced the guy with Dark Ride, Yeah. Think? Was that the same guy? Dude, I don't remember. I don't. No, I was in the final four, I'm pretty sure. Who did he get to the finals against? I don't remember. I'm going to guess. Uh, um, oh, Kalos so League. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, and introducing really first, though, is that man. He's got a backpack on. He's got a backpack on. He brought his whoop ass with him. He's got his backpack he, keeps on. It, he keeps it on his back, so he can just <laughs> take it out whenever he wants and just, you know, unleash it on people. That's what he says. I don't know. I just take quotes from people. I don't. I don't make. Yeah. Yo, he yeah, Ash that's what, that's what Ash tweets out line. daily. So. He's also 10, so he doesn't tweet past like 7.30 really because his mom makes him go to bed. Once in a while, you see that tweet at like 7.48. Yeah. You know, he's under the covers. But more or less, it's... <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like iPod or whatever. Yep. As opposed to like actual it's phone. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a 32 gigabyte iPod, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> He has like down. <laughs> he has to like re-download Twitter to like. He's gotta hide it from. Because he can only have one app at a time. So he's he's like, got the Evanescence soundtrack yeah. twice by mistake. Takes way too much space. But one of them's corrupted, so he can't. He can't get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ash, he's a ten-year-old man. It's the general idea we were getting at, I think, with that story. I believe. His opponent, though, not ten years old. In fact. A grown ass nah, man. A grown man. His metal theme song he's been coming out to for years now. Still kind of doing it douchey though. If he if he didn't know. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. been a, he's been a dickhead like, recently. Like you know, just being yeah, a never mean resolved, like Android thirteen. Yeah, you know, they had their they had their time. Yeah. Can't always win. Right? A good guy One, can't always win. He didn't get fired because that would have sucked. Android thirteen, but. That is a sick... Yeah. I'm, I am glad that Nakamura gave us his entrance, though, because it fits, I think, Ryu right now perfectly. Which is which is great. I'm happy. Happy about that. Look at those douchey hand yeah, motions. Dude. What's he doing? Does he does he know it's fake? Come on. <laughs> so theatric. Yo, oh, I saw uh, <laughs> Jarek have a... have an, a wrestling tryout match where he did, like, a magic trick in it. So he, he, did, he, did, he, he did a trick before... Wait. The match started right, and then after he beat the guy, uh, the, yeah. the before the match started, he had to do like sign a card and stuff and fold it. And at the end of the match, the dude who he beat had that signed card in his mouth. 
It's great stuff, man. It's great stuff. What? Yeah, it's magic. In wrestling, it's good. Besides Why can't you like a magician wrestler, you know? Like, no, I'm not, like, in WWE, like, he comes out on Raw, you know, he poses on the stage and, like, so if he could do it right, and, like, it'd be great. doves go everywhere. Wouldn't that be cool? He does magic tricks and stuff. Yeah. And he just has a really hot assistant. It'd be awesome. It'd be great. Like, like, someone grabs a chair, he takes it away from him. Right, and he's, into, he's like, not a real uh, wizard. Flowers right, or whatever. He's a magician. That's a... He could probably do it with, like, man. Or he could do like somebody green, like swinging a kendo stick at him, and he like he like catches it, and he starts pulling like rags out of the kendo stick, or something, you know. Anyway, the match begins. One on one competition here. Ash immediately on the offensive. Yeah. Wrestling slam. The belly to belly. And now he's got one Ryu. two. Is, what the hell is it? gonna go winless? To on, be on fair, a Ash into is the chamber not next his week. He won that tag team match. He just did not score the winning pinfall. Oh, you're so, right. You're right. You know, but here we are. A sidewalk slam. That's right. I knew you were going to get another belly to belly takedown by Ash Ketchum, who is coming out hot tonight. You know, Ash really wants to win. I mean, to be He's fair, if you just lay down week. a loss every week, you'd go into the chamber pretty fresh. But to be fair, you're already in the match. Yeah, I guess. Well, like, I don't think, I don't think if he did that right now, where you would let him. Like at this point, you might yeah, as well just beat down the point. other person as much as you, you lose, can. You, at least the other guys beat down a little bit. You'd hope. You'd hope. But like yeah. right at the beginning, actually, yeah, it would make much sense. You know. But anyway, Ryu back in the offensive and just a acrobatic arm drag. Just stepping on Ryu now. The yes. Bears. Top Ooh. rope. It's Ryu going up. Top rope. There's a top rope arm drag. That could have been a lot cooler. He's but going he for not, it. They cannot be. That's fine. Arm drag. <laughs> well, no, because remember, <laughs> he does time. the hurricane rock. Every thing, time. Like, he fucks up every time. Not hyperbole. Every time. Dropping the five knuckles across the brim of the hat. Again. The ten knuckle. The fifteen knuckle. The fifteen. Fifteen knuckles. Actually, it's probably. That's probably more. Fifteen knuckle you know, shuffle. Twelve knuckles. He probably dropped just the first four. Yeah, sure you were, Ryan. Yeah, I'm I was sure about to say. Next time, next time, take initiative, you know? I was. Well, you, you weren't trying hard enough. I was trying to. Job breaker. I just drank a big old can of PBR. Uh, <laughs> some, a, bit, a big old <laughs> can of PBR. It's a 48 ounce <laughs> bottle of PBR. It's still the can shape. Yeah, it's throwing right here to the corner. Line. This has been more of a fight than a wrestling match, really. And the hook of the leg, one. Can't imagine they not do it. Two? Yeah, yeah that, that won't do it at all. Two count. And Ryu now continuing to work, or Ash continuing to work on the head area of Ryu. <laughs> I'd go for the feet because he has no shoes on. But what do I know about wrestling? So, wait, Ryan, what was, was, was there a storyline for, like, Street Fighter X Tekken? Yeah, two, who? Um... I don't it's know. Who can take if there was one, I don't care. <laughs> on a multimedia platform. I uh, I will say though, uh, Akuma is in the new Tekken game, and like he's actual an actual canon part of the uh, of the series now. Oh wow! So that that's an official Brit. So that pretty much does make it official that Street Fighter and Tekken exist. Uh, I in loved, the same I loved using Akuma and Ryu in that, in that game. Well. There's an arcade game for that too. It was good stuff. It's good stuff. Anyway, the cover by Ryu. I think my favorite favorite one of those is like X Men versus, versus Street Capcom Fighter, Fighter. Yeah. not like Marvel versus Capcom, like the X Men versus Street Fighter. Yeah, X Men versus, X -Men versus Street Fighter. Fighter. <laughs> no, it was legit. Just X Men characters versus Street Fighter characters. Minecraft versus Roblox. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Look at the leg by Ash. One. No, you Two. guys never heard. Of no, that's what inspired Marvel vs. Capcom. It was originally just X-Men characters or Street Fighter characters. Marvel vs. Because... Capcom? No, X-Men... No, are you saying that the first Marvel vs. Capcom was just X-Men characters? Yeah. Because it was originally an arcade cabinet game by itself, and then it evolved into what it is today. 
You guys never played that at all? Like when you went to arcades or anything? The first one? I yeah. played the second one. Well, there's obviously a first and second one. But then... But no, it just used to be X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Like, so... Yeah. Oh. Sen- I guess you were yeah. correct. Yeah. In 1996, it was originally... It was X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Then there was Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Then there was Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Super Heroes. So I guess that would technically be the very first Marvel vs. Capcom game. Yeah, no, because I was talking about X-Men vs. Street Fighter, because I remember that being the first one. I know, because I always use, like, Zangief and Cyclops together. They were awesome cool. in the game. Cool. Ash Austin, awesome, are you in the corner? <laughs> It was a great story, indeed. Oh, oh no! I only ever played the first before Marvel vs. Capcom three. I only ever played the first one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Couldn't buy Ash. One. I always remember the two. arcade cabinet at the at the skating rink as being Marvel vs. Capcom two. Top rope for Ash. The skating rink. Elbow drop, but he misses. He used to go skating. Nice. I uh, no, him. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I would go there because that's where like my brother went and I had to go with him because apparently I'm not allowed to do my own thing. And so he would skate around and shit and I would just stay in the arcade area because I never learned how to roller skate. Great story. I would just end up like doing the splits unwillingly or I would like fall down and hit my knees really, really hard on the... That's why they have knee pads, Ryan. Well, they didn't have knee pads here at at this location. And they are irresponsible. (laughs) All they had were the skates, and that was it. Ash, trying to take advantage on Ryu with the knee to the back of the head. Yes, that works. Spine Buster! the, the, The floor was really hard, too. Like, there's a carpeted area, and then the actual rink... It's like wood floor. No, 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 it was like, uh, no, it wasn't wood, it was just like, um... Like tile or whatever? Yeah, like, well, the same, I guess porcelain. Hurricane Hel- Hurricane Helsinki from Ryu, by the way. No, not porcelain, porcelain's too fragile. But, you know, it, it was like that Ash, really hard Ash was victorious. You know what I mean. Oh. I, re- I realized that about four minutes ago. I wasn't paying attention ago. at all to the fight. <laughs> 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 I was just I going off on some that. retarded tangent about. Yeah, I made a noise because Steve just got yep, quiet and happened. you were just mumbling on about shit. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I try to keep, you know, attention to the match just by like going on shit. So, Ash, two wins in the past four and weeks. And Ryu going in winless, one. which has got to be Ryu. unfortunate for him. Winless in five matches. All right, it's a tag team, kind of four-way triple threat. But no, four matches. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, Ash looked pretty impressive this week. He, uh, he definitely dominated. Yeah, he dominated. Right. You know. Kind of came out flat and mostly unimpressive, but he will be in the chamber, so that's cool. I mean, yeah, he was in the match all along. So, like, does it really I mean, matter? Not really. I mean, to me, to him, maybe. But to me, not really. Uh, he may give a shit about it, but I know certainly that. Uh... Like, like legit, they could have just like not shown up, and yeah, nothing agree. different I, really I, happened. I agree. That's... But Ash, yeah. you know, getting the win. I'm sure he's very happy about that, and I'm sure he's going to. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a paycheck, you know. Oh, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> I may have me title match soon. It's still no partner to be found. I hope I'll be able to get a capable teammate by then. We're not so different, you and I. You're going to need to clarify. <laughs> you both have the greater good in mind for humanity. Full disclosure, I just kind of wanted to make a sweet pool. <laughs> using Kyogre seemed like the best way to tell. So... You're pretty low on the murdery scale, then. Yeah, I can try to stay away from being murdery if I can help it. <laughs> and I thought we could have done great things together. Well, you haven't really won a lot here, so... Watch your back around here, Captain. Commander. I prefer insect. 
<laughs> the more of a voice. <laughs> So he's been punched by three people. <laughs> Joey Wheeler, Rick Sanchez, and now Frieza. Now Frieza. Well, this is a yeah, little long, huh? Joker boys. <laughs> Forgot to uh, remove some of that. Maybe I'll keep yeah. it in. Maybe I'll remove it. But I'll use this opportunity <laughs> to let you guys get remind you. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. You know, leave a comment below on just, you know, what you thought. What hey, you thought who, of the who show? Who do you think Archie is going to team up with? Uh, yeah, who 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 you think Archie's going to team up with? This is a great this is a great break. He's going to pick Joey Wheeler, who still uh, thinks he's Mako Rick Sanchez, uh, Frieza. Oh man, this goes on for a while. I feel like a dick right now. Okay, okay. In the comments, in the comments, tell tell, tell me what you think. Is the dress bl- women's black action fatal four way? <laughs> It's actually, yo, Jesse no, coming back. No, Jesse been here in a while. Her and Android 18 fought, and I believe, the first ever women's match we had here back in 2013. 2012. 2013. 2012? Oh, God. 20, 2012? Was it? 2012. I think it's 2012. Oh, you're right. You're right. Because right. W13 came Christ. out. Yeah, in 12. So. Uh, five years. <laughs> five years, Steve. Five years. Poison Ivy time. and Black Widow are hanging around as well. This is where we're at. Poison Ivy and Black Widow things, but yeah. Des Moines, Iowa, because Des Moines, yo, Adventureland is I here. Des Moines, want to go to Adventureland? Shithead, Iowa. <laughs> That's what Des Moines <laughs> translates to. Says who? That's... Yes. Um, the Native American population that told the settlers what the name of the really? city was. Do you have a source? Can I talk to those guys? Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Um, hold on. Uh, Is there a hotline I can, I can uh, procure? Voice <laughs> yeah. and Ivy. Fighting for the recent release of Injustice 2, like, a week and a half ago. Yeah, that game fell off. Which actually really seems like a fun game. That was, like, super hyped, and then I haven't heard anything about it, so... Yeah. Because Tekken's like, haha, Injustice, suck a dick! But, you know... Introducing next Android 18. She had her chance. Had some titles. Was it? The title. She lost against. Uh, what was her name? The one chick Satsuki who never dressed, dressed properly. Yeah. Satsuki yeah, her. Kieran. And. No, we didn't change it anymore. Didn't Thank the while. heavens. Because why yeah. would we? We'll have a certain amount of time on the show, you know. Yeah. We're trying to build this whole Thanos Thousand Days thing. It's coming. S- Yo, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we just want to an hour ish. Is it nope. is it possible to do nope. male versus female characters in this game? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No, they use male games. That's unfortunate. No, oh, I would. Oh, why would you? Would you? <laughs> For the custom characters, like imagine oh, Jane Urso versus Thanos. <laughs> that would be very nice at all. Dinner, so <laughs> That'd be very nice. <laughs> or Spider Man versus Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, man. Let it go. The cold never bothered me. I don't know what. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we could, then, like, we'd see if, like, immediately pop out, like, soon. I would do uh, Android 18 like versus Hercule every day. Just every day. I'd upload that video every single day. <laughs> With sli- slightly altered... Welcome to... Welcome to oh, Android 18. A bunch of smoke and mirrors! Welcome oh. to Android 18 vs. Turkey Wall number 58. The score is... Uh, 26 and 22. <laughs> you see, she, uh, she, she's actually not stronger than me. I'm, uh... I'm letting her win. Yeah, that, uh, that, that, that's it. She has, a. Uh, she, she has a... Uh, she has a uh, horseshoes inside of her gloves. That's why she's able to Big punch gloves. really hard. <laughs> bunch, of, bunch of fancy magic tricks. You know, you, you know how cutting women are. Yo, why always, are we gonna get Hercule? In always uh, <laughs> doing things. Hercule is like that person that just be there in the D League. He's like a D League lock man. Old man Hercule. One day, one day Hercule. It'd be great to have. 
Uh, I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, dude, it's been it's been a minute, dude. Yeah. Just off. Of, I I know there's a new move. Yes, there. It was Guardians of the Galaxy that came out that because she doesn't yeah. guard the galaxy. Uh, probably. She's gonna be in, in Spider Man. Iron Man featuring Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. Spider Man. Oh uh, yeah, that's coming to Iron Man's house. Spider Man. I don't know. Homecoming. Is that coming out later this year too? Yeah, that comes out. It, it comes point, out in like a month, I think. Oh wow! Every, so we have that every movie Ragnarok that takes too. place in the, the Avengers timeline to me, like, is now is like an Avengers movie. Like Captain America: Civil War was like an Avengers movie. Like it just doesn't matter now. Like the Spider Man movie, it was. it's an Avengers movie. It just it was. this is what it is. Which is fine with me. Those are great. I love them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the upcoming Thor movie is gonna have Hulk in it, so it's pretty much just gonna be Thor. Yeah, it's like it's a uh, they're doing a subplot with Planet Hulk. Which is the more good movies? movies they keep. But I guess I know him from work. Okay, I don't think he sounded like that. Oh my god! He likes to come in and jump hot coffee on Are my you head. Trying to... What? It's like you just designated you a doing? voice to represent anyone you can't do, and that's the voice. <laughs> like I imagine if you were to also try and do like Sylvester Stallone, it'd be that voice. <laughs> I'm John Rambo and I'm gonna kill everyone here. It's like, it's like you know, Patrick Warburton, same voice. <laughs> hey Peter So I see him as Putty from Seinfeld. That's why that's who I and oh, yeah, wheelbarrow right. boulders, like a package backpack wheelbarrow stunner there by Poison Ivy or um, ba- and backpack Black Widow, by, uh, Poison Ivy, and a surfboard to get things going. Oh, Mexican surfboard. Don't no, that's what you're calling it. I'm not going to be part of your it. racist. No, that's what you called it. Wheelbarrow, a while back. <laughs> well, what? Would a Mexican surfboard oh just be like God. a giant sombrero? What you? Th- I know. I don't know. Ryan. You know, you know what the worst part about that joke is? That it? You started to tell it, and then I said something, and then you had time to think about what you were saying, and then you still said it. You're like, no, this is where we're gonna go. With. <laughs> I've thought about it. I've weighed both the pros and the cons. And really, how can I not say it? <laughs> <laughs> Android 8. Wait, so I mean, DDT uh, and Jesse on the side, right on the concrete. I mean, this falls count somewhere, and that somewhere's in the ring. So, see a little spring, springboard action, a little springboard action. Poison. Yeah. Black Widow. Nope. Springboard. That one, Blue Show. She's gonna have... watch her from outside oh, the ring. Gonna... Hmm. Oh, poison Ivy going face first into the steps. Probably not having a good day if that's happening to you. From my experience, top. Yeah. Top rope, Black Widow. Yeah, bloody knows from that. And flying, it's like a, it's like a, yeah, just a splash. Splash. I'm just gonna, yeah, it's just a frog splash. splash. Not a frog right. splash. If she did splash. that with her arms, it would have been a finisher. Yeah. Wrestling. Yeah. In the great kick by Jesse. No, you're, no, you're not. No, you're not. A verse atomic drop by Black no. Widow, and she's a leg drop now, taking complete control of this matchup. Leg drop, brother. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess the force of her falling on the mat pushed Poison Ivy into the uh, into the. Yeah, this I isn't mean, a very stable anyways, wind, so. Obviously, yeah. lots 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 of high winds and turbulence. We're actually this, this <laughs> is just one Iowa. Uh, Kaiba Core blimp. So we're we're right over a new Domino City right now. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, if you look over there, you can see uh, in the crowd, see American Odeon. Hanging out. <laughs> yeah, our special guest tonight, American Odeon. And then nope, there's uh, Duke Devlin behind the announcer's table. <laughs> that's just... It's not him at all. He, he didn't show up. He's too busy playing Dungeon Dice. Yeah, Duke Devlin doesn't show up the card shop. Shows. Hmm. A and double knee takedown Black by Widow are right in front of us. Having a bow. Black Widow yes. knocking down Android 18 right in front of us. Um, 
<laughs> and they're not making any noises with their mouths. <laughs> Boys and Ivy in the corner being lifted to the top rope by Jesse. Jesse, acrobatics included. So we call Frank Steiner. Jesus. Damn, dude. A little more, uh, a little more emotion behind that idea, but either way. Black Widow rolling out of the ring. 18 going for a cover on Jesse right in front of Poison Ivy. One. Kick out at one. Kick out at one. She's got a ways to go. She wants to pin Jesse at least. But Jesse can lose this match and not even be involved in the decision. That's how that is. It's the danger of fatal four ways. It's always an interesting dynamic of how like a fatal four ways like a real fight, how they would turn out. Like if UFC had fatal four ways, how the fuck would that turn out? It'd be like it'd be like three people. Like, oh my all god. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I'd actually pay to see that. You wouldn't have like, a guy rolling out of the ring to catch his breath for 31 minutes. Like, how would, how would that happen? Like, it'd be crazy. Like, give me like, no. a UFC elimination chamber. And like, give me that. That'd be sick. <laughs> yes, it was like a men, ladder men match. Would die. <laughs> One. They would die. They would die. 30 man. That would be fun uh, to watch, though. Roy Rumble. Brawl or Rumble. Yeah, they don't even get eliminated. They have, like, have, so it's like an Aztec warfare battle. I'd watch a real. I'd watch a real fight with Rumble. I'd watch that. Though you'd see tactics like one guy would <laughs> like never agree. enter the ring. Like he'd just like, enter and then sit, sit at the top yeah. of the ramp. That'd be more common in there. We'll just go to the announce table or go to the crowd or something. Just hang out and watch. Hmm. And show like last minute when like two people they left, when they're both nearly like from dead. When you're, like, you hit the ramp to when you gotta be in the ring. That would make sense in the, in like the realm of kayfabe. Like so, somebody should do that next year, and then the following year they make a rule where they have to like you have 60, 60 seconds to yeah. Shouldn't. Like they should have done that with Curtis. Well, like yeah, I guess they had to curse Axel. They should done because like he he was never eliminated for, like a whole year. Because he never, because he never entered the Curtis ring, so he was never eliminated. <laughs> a part of the 2014 Royal Rumble, he's still in there. He's still. You know, Scotty Duhati is, is still he... in the 2005 Royal Rumble. <laughs> he never got, really he never, never got in the ring, so he never got eliminated. Either. No, so technically, he's the winner of the 2005 Royal Rumble. Is John Cena so wait, Batista what, eliminated? He just at like the same entered time. and just hung out. No, no, someone attacked him, I'm pretty sure. I forgot who. Because he was he was coming out, and then someone attacked him, so he couldn't get into the match. So Scotty Potty won the 05 Rumble. It's like, he, yeah, he technically did he win the 2005 Royal Rumble. Running yeah. Bulldog. It's like 12 years later. Oh, I, I won that Rumble. It's yeah. great. Wrestling rules are weird. It's all just... They really are. Like Finley got disqualified from Royal Rumble in 2008. It was confusing. It was just like no DQ, but he couldn't Shit use lately, his one thing. Cover one. I only Still know. Lately, yeah. I only know that because it's a skill in D and D. Two. No. Or, I guess a cantrip. Yeah. Like if you're like a, <laughs> really? a druid, you could use the shillelagh, and you could get like magical. Oh, what? what the fuck? Uh. Wait, 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 later on tonight. Later on tonight. <laughs> that Man, is a that special a short, sneak peek. Of what... Short commercial break. <laughs> commercial break. <laughs> we're having some uh, glitch. We're having some glitches in the blimp, and it's virtual no, reality. No, it's commercial for them. Showing mechanics. Previewing things. what's later on tonight. That's all. Yeah. You guys are being weird about it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. Black Widow literally attacking the referee. Nice. Did you see that? Just, just Black, elbowed Raditz in the face. Black Widow attacking Raditz. That's Elbowed Raditz rude, in the dude. face. Don't do that to Raditz. Raditz has gotten Raditz, so... Raditz, uh, yeah, doing everything in his willpower to not double Sunday or into oblivion. You're right. Like, Raditz has gotten attacked so many times. Yeah, that was That's literally just elbowed like, Raditz in the face. Purpose. There was no... Yeah, this is so rude, too. Yo... Springboard. He's trying to keep his like sane. Well, Wait, what is Jesse the, doing? Uh, going into Springboard type bulldog. Jesse is a good. 
Or Jesse's a friend. Yeah, you know, he's been a good friend of mine. But lately something's changed. It ain't hard to define. Jesse's got himself a girl in there. Make her mine. And she's watch. She's watch. Hey, Jesse. Those eyes. Hey, Jesse. She's loving him with that body. I just know it. And he's holding her. <laughs> two. All right. Two. two. One. Yeah. Two. Uh, Ryan's oh, really excited almost. about that. I'm just trying to provide more entertaining yeah, commentary than I've been. You ending. Tombstone Pile Driver by Andrew 18. <laughs> and right in front of Jesse, but going for the pinfall. Jesse also going for a pin. They both. So he just declares them Raditz both can't decide. the fair man that he is. The just Raditz. Jesse, she's, uh, practicing she's going to an uh, Michael Jackson there. impersonation uh, show or contest, I guess. Something. Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. That's right. There's gonna be like the the sound, like the in-game sound, is also very prevalent. So what uh, what is silence for us isn't really ever that bad because there's still in-game sounds happening. So I just don't want people to feel like they have to just say yeah. stuff all the time. It really, you know, you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, so Black Black Widow and Poison Ivy both. Uh, yeah, they're just both down. Both are struggling to get up for them, particularly. Android eighteen being Poison dropped. Still getting her feet, but here comes concrete. Black Widow throwing Jesse into the ring with authority. Oh my god. Oh, and she is hyped. <laughs> oh, oh, she's she getting pumped hyped up. About yeah, this. she's getting fired up. Yeah. Hurricane Rana by Jesse. Hurricane, Hurricane Rana. Rana. Hurricane Rama? Hurricane Rana Rama one half. <laughs> that's a that's a joke that I hope uh, somebody out there gets. <laughs> every time every time she does the move, she changes gin. Again, that's a joke that probably very little captain. people will get. I guess I should explain the joke so that I don't look bad. Ranma One and One Half is a anime slash manga about a boy who gets cursed after falling into a waterfall, and so every time he's hit with either cold or hot water, he changes into a different gender. His father was hit with a similar curse. Instead of changing genders, he's top back and rope forth though. A bear High risk territory. Superplex. Oh, oh! On to poison I don't ivy. Recommend wow, that, that for had to hurt. In the crowd. Oh, Black Widow. <laughs> Jesse was going up to him. She's just like, nah. <laughs> wow, Black yeah. Widow's just been going ham for the she past is, two she minutes. Is. She's just going crazy. Picking Jesse up. To the corner. Oh, and Jesse comes back. Uh, got her against the ropes. Throwing her to the center of the ring. Is she going for another one of the acrobatic bulldogs? Yes, she is. Eight. Bulldog. Hey, 18 uh, practicing your karate. Right after 18. After planting Black Widow. Oh, now Jesse's, uh... Now Jesse's getting fired up. Taunting 18. That's a poor strategy. 18's taking a little break. From my, uh... From my, uh, experience. That, that, that's not gonna work out very well. Tombstone Pile Driver by Jesse! <laughs> and... There goes Back 18 out of the ring. by Poison Ivy. Same with Black Widow. Rolling Poison Ivy over. The cover. One... Oh, I, I, Two, cover. one, two. Ah, oh, kick out. The Look crowd out. loving it. Jesse, the only one standing at the moment. Black Widow's sitting up. Poison Ivy just throws Jesse to the mat. Right. Picks with her up. Detailed play-by-play. -play. Detailed play-by-play. -play. With the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I've been. Uh, 
John Madden is my. You see, what's happening punch. here is the one wrestler with the hair is trying to knock the other three wrestlers <laughs> to the ground. See, now that's not good that they didn't pin him down because if you want to win, you have to pin down the other wrestler. That's the way you win. Is that's by John pinning Madden, the other wrestler. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys doing John Madden play by play? Can't leave us yes. anywhere. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, that's, that's sorry, I had to you are do something. Uh, what, what time are you guys at? One. Video? <laughs> what a kick by 18. Uh, uh, oh. Let's go to 46. Right, no. I'm going to 4630. Elbow by 18. Lifting up Poison Ivy, who counters. Neck breaker by Poison Ivy. Jesse's back in the ring, though. Grabbing at the air as she does. 21. Poison Ivy. 25. 27. 28. What is she 29. Doing? Totally 30. See what she's after power bombing Jesse, she's now going right after Andrew 18. Great. Thank you. Oh Another my power gosh. bomb. Just power bomb in the world. Hook of the leg. One. All right. Two. One. One. Two. Two. Near fall. Unable. Not it. Wow. Oh, it's a it's a clusterfuck now. Wait, does Jinder still have an opponent oh, set does. for the next pay per view? Yeah, yeah. Learn your, oh, learn that's your right. shit, dude. Not that much. Learn your shit. Yeah. I was gonna I was getting that confused with the Money in the Bank match that we had too, in which Hot Girl won that. I'm pretty That's sure okay. when I say that. Yeah, I'm really on that. I remember stuff. You do. I remember stuff. I remember stuff. Spine Buster by Poison Ivy. To the outside. That was Andrew quite the moonsault by Black Widow. Uh, fighting Poison Ivy. Actually expect kind of nervous. Black Widow to do. Let it be it. Two? Two? Oh, near yeah, fall. This is uh, this still going on. Jesse, staying in this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All three redheads are in the ring right now. Astute analysis. It's a, it's a fun fact. If you guys can tell. Yeah, astute analysis. That's what I got. Is she going for Super Hurricane Rana here? Oh, on the top rope. Steve, have you been doing the um, Kaiba, not the Kaiba Corp thing? That yeah, basically Nick was World farming Championship for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. How, uh, oh, yeah. Where, are you, where are you at right now? Android 18's, uh, she's starting to malfunction, no. I think. Yeah. Double, double flatliner, yeah, looks what like. Double. Wow. Now, uh, Jesse and Android cool. 18. Jesse. That's right. It's a Flashback to the it's first a, match uh, ever. Throwback. Nostalgia machine. Nostalgia machine. Take a shot of nostalgia, all right? Just one shot, though. Oh, don't take two. Don't take two. Yeah, too much Here comes the ready your... Here comes the... I don't, I don't know. What? No. <laughs> You want to finish that, Steve? I don't want to be live right now. You want to finish that thought? <laughs> Good. If, if I can help. <laughs> Power bomb by Poison Ivy in the cover. Black Widow wants oh, to get this win. Broken up oh, by Black no. Widow. It's immediately. Knees at Jesse in the ear. That can't. That can't feel good. <laughs> oh, okay. They all just all going to the other side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A black widow going at shooting at nothing. And <laughs> Jesse misses. <laughs> he's completely she's flops like a magic carp. Yeah, she's blasting off again. <laughs> a black widow setting up for something. Power bomb, sunset flip, power bomb into a submission. She black really was really yeah, trying I mean, to get that win by does. submission. I mean, while there is no like. If, you know, stakes here in the future, we'll consider her for like a number one contendership if she's like winning a lot. Well, Bojack will. I just like su I just like suggest matches to Bojack occasionally. Maybe never listens to me though. Well, maybe That's why we haven't seen to. Bizarro in like four weeks. 
Maybe he ought to. Yeah. Maybe I ought to, I ought to write uh, more what's fan some mail. Female, what's our last piece of fan <laughs> we got there, Ryan? The cover one. Two. Uh, Ring um, the bell. Two. Uh, Black oh, Widow. Never mind. That no fan mail yet. Getting that one. Don't believe we've uh, received any fan mail this week. Uh, that that can't be true. That's that can't be true. That's that that's gotta be false. We've got to have some fan mail here. Let's 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 not be ridiculous. All right. Um. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um. Whoops. <laughs> that, that would come with the gift of a, a camp. All right. It says. All right. This letter is uh, addressed to Javier. It says, you are gay, LOL. And the sender ah. is Bojack? I don't know. That I don't know. Why, why is, why is Bojack writing fan mail? mail? You know, he's, I have no idea why he's writing fan mail. Yeah. Not a clue. <laughs> yeah. Black Widow was the win. It was, a, it was hard fought. It took but a while. She, you know, she she got did it. eventually get there. Which, that's you know, that's fantastic news. news. I'm sure. It's fantastic news. Hey, it's a match that was oh, wow. sponsored what, what, earlier. What a total surprise. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't know totally, this match. And here we totally are. didn't know. With Vegeta, Mr. Money in the Bank. <laughs> Going up against a uh, perennial number one contender. I don't say perennial. He was like a former number one contender. Fought Thanos a couple of times and lost. He was. He, yeah, was, a, he was a former Royal Rumble winner. winner. The Royal Rumble. Rumble Royale. Short against Mr. Money in the Bank. Drank. What you drank? What you drank? Uh, well, Vegeta drank some. What did you drink? Grey Goose Patron. That's what he had. <laughs> that's, that's nice. I like the taste of Grey Goose. Goose. Not paying to say the that, best. but there it is. No, no, it, it'd be nice if they we could get to hear Vegeta, Vegeta said wrestling it. apocalypse in our announce table today. When I'm done with a full day of lifting 20 million ton weights in the gravity chamber, I like to get crunk on that gray goose. <laughs> crunk? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a, a, a choice of words there for Vegeta. Yeah, I don't know. He said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, he, he totally been, uh, said it. Simulating he that totally culture. <laughs> Yeah, Earth, uh, Earth's done some weird things to Vegeta since All he's right, well, that's, you know, I mean, he's I'm glad he's assimilating. Yeah, yeah I'm glad he's spinning in very well. Oh. Vegeta, at Vegeta, go follow his Twitter. He, yeah. uh, his tweets are certainly interesting, to say the least. Let me, uh, did we already look up? No, I don't think we did. Here... We probably did like 15 episodes ago, but you know, you weren't here then. So, um, I, oh, I wow. Know. Is it an actual Vegeta Twitter? Yes. Um, oh, nice. The second to what... last tweet was from 15th of October 2012. Oh, no. <laughs> but the most recent tweet was from March 20th, and it says the All right, is back. Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But he hasn't really uh, tweeted there. anything since then, so. Good stuff there. Maybe, um, maybe he barely found his Twitter password again, and maybe that's why he says the prince is back. Uh, thir- uh, from the 3rd of October 2012, watching the hashtag presidential debate 2012 with Bulma. Oh, Vegeta. What a, what a great Twitter career. He's really, uh... <laughs> he's really using it. He really likes using it. Alright, Vegeta. Well, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad he's keeping <laughs> up with recent events and stuff of that nature. At the time, it was recent. Here comes Apocalypse. He fought last Astute week. Astute observation. He, he did not win. Who did he wrestle? Yeah, he didn't. Because... Okay. He wrestled Android 13. Voldemort. Nice. I got you. It's okay. And it's okay. I can remember I the last you. person. I, Voldemort, yeah. That's why I'm here. At Apocalypse. What's that Twitter, Ryan? Yeah, what is that Twitter? 
at Apocalypse. I, um... Okay, who wants to take a bet that it's owned by some, like, super hardcore Christian fundamentalist? I think that's... <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's owned by um, some random indie movie that's named Apocalypse. It is owned by a man named Raphael Apocalypse, who is the co-founder of Glissemius Glyse- Online. I see. Well, you know, that's a cool <laughs> thing to have, I guess. It's... If we're gonna have any last name. Mm. Sao Paulo, it's from Argentina. Sao Paulo. Brazil. I mean, he's got... So Vegeta lived in time Apocalypse, chamber, the strength of Vegeta. It's been a hyperbolic oh, time chamber. Lifting all those weights. And then he likes to wind down by getting crunk on Grey Dude, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Is it <laughs> guy, huh? Well, yeah, I'm glad he's got hobbies. It's, it's good to know. Yeah. Besides going around, like, it's it's more productive than going around destroying planets. That's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an improvement. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, never change. Never. never change his moveset, Steve. Never change it. <laughs> what are we slapping Apocalypse on the what back? Is your, what is your random visceral moves? Well, I'm glad we're all here to share that moment. What a boot by Apocalypse, though. <laughs> Thank you, I just what a boot by Apocalypse. Oh, oh, it's I'm quite dizzy. the big boot. I'm dizzy from that. How are you oh. dizzy from that? I just left. Apocalypse. <laughs> oh. uh. Starting to take uh, get the upper hand on Vegeta. Elbow drop by Vegeta. It seems. Just oh, and they, the they say that's Vegeta instant encounters. Dropping the elbow. Like what? A springboard. Like there. No, the OG one. Ooh. Springboard. Sharp a Ted DiBiase reference. And there goes Apocalypse. Vegeta, though. Second rope. Nope. Yeah, Ted DiBiase, dude. Some kind of neck breaker there. The second That's an innovative neck breaker. The offensive okay. by Vegeta. Yeah. And Vegeta's been, uh, he's been doing a lot of he's now taunting things so far in this match. What you, know, you, you expect yeah, that's, to do. That's Vegeta. <laughs> that's Vegeta for you. <laughs> Vegeta oh, countering. Punched right in the face. No. Nope. Trying to take out the back of the knee. And Vegeta in Apocalypse. You need him with his other knee. Because that's the one Vegeta in it. Yeah. Because, you know, his first knee was taken out by Vegeta, so he uses his other knee to hit Vegeta. But that doesn't matter okay. now. Vegeta. Thank you, John, for that one. Punch in the face. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> welcome. <laughs> knee trembler by Vegeta, as he is. He's big, big on the Yo, knees. All the knees this match. <laughs> They're all great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a corner. It's Apocalypse. Peter it now in the corner. Oh, oh my line. god. Trying to take his head off. Oh, he's, he's, he's slowing the Apocalypse match down. Just trying to. Yeah, he's trying to tear off that Saiyan armor. He, he thinks it's an, an, it's, he thinks it's a disadvantage against him when it's really not. It's just kind of, it's kind of looks cool. Stomping on the face. Yeah, now he's now got uh, really submission on. Really trying to make Vegeta pay there. Trying to make him tap uh, Vegeta though, not. Yeah, you don't you don't, yeah, you don't uh, taunt against Apocalypse. Hey man, that's one a water rumble that one time. <laughs> oh, like old... He's doing it's... it again! Do it by Seth Rollins! Seth Rollins, dude. Seth Green? Seth Yo, I feel like Seth if Vegeta McFarlane. was a real life wrestler, he'd totally be Seth Rollins. I agree. He'd totally, he'd totally would be Seth Rollins. <laughs> But no, Steve, is that why Boba Fett's won two Royal Rumbles? He's totally like a prestigious ma- prestigious hey. wrestler on green? Maybe. He won back-to-back Rumble, what? dude. Yeah, he's, yeah. 
Seth hey. Rollins uh, apparently on the side of Apocalypse. Apocalypse on the second rope. Apocalypse is gonna fly. Axe handles. Uh, <laughs> he Seth, is a big man, Seth, so he Seth can't do much. Uh, did you just, in the other Batman, corner, <laughs> yeah. now being thrown. Where, where is he? At? I don't see him. He's right there. Oh, in the see, crowd. Yeah, he's right there. I'm pointing at him. But... <laughs> There's only like a thousand people in this arena, right? Fireman's carried by Vegeta after being dropped in his head. Just Vegeta missing trying. the uppercut. Yeah. Didn't, oh, Apocalypse. Pre- kind of right. Yeah, I'm missing that. Lifting Apocalypse, though. Apocalypse. No, he, didn't, he didn't put that in the calculation. One. Two. He's a big comic Seth Rollins, a huge fan of Apocalypse winning. Two. Maybe maybe he really liked the X-Men Apocalypse movie. I mean, like, it's his favorite movie right. right now. Yeah. I didn't watch it, but, like, yeah. I haven't watched many movies should. recently. You definitely, you definitely should. Yeah, I should. Counter by Vegeta. Apocalypse lifting Vegeta. To a reverse DDT. Dual. DDT. Vegeta doing that same submission that Apocalypse had on him earlier. Really speeds up the top turnbuckle. Vegeta throwing Apocalypse. What? The top turnbuckle. Exposing exposing the steel. steel. (laughs) Oh. Vegeta's starting. Lifting. He's going for the final flash, but a counter to be Vegeta. Do a DDT. Uh, Seth, Seth Rogen really liked that one. The where's Seth Rogen at? I don't see him. <laughs> He's right there. I'm pointing at him. Right oh, really? Is he the, is he wearing the yellow shirt standing up? He's well, yes. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> is this Jason Statham? Essentially, <laughs> yeah, pr- yeah, it practically is. It practically is. <laughs> is that Stamper. <laughs> Steve, this is like three interferences in one night. Hey, man, they want to get their shit together. <laughs> I guess, but you know, there's a couple. I want to watch. <laughs> seems like Cesaro is on the side. Yeah, of Vegeta. seems like he is. Of course, he is. Vegeta. Oh, look at the power and strength. Cru- Sit down, power bomb. The crucifix. Uh, Seth Myers didn't like that one. <laughs> How many Seths can you name, Ryan? Uh, <laughs> I feel I like you're going to try to name them all. One, two. I'm only naming one. But yeah, I can't near believe fall. I didn't finish up off Apocalypse. Yeah, near fall. That's what Jesus says. Fuck you, Rad. It's been running lap around the... <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> Elbow! Oh, poor Reddit, man. He's just getting attacked he's more and more a, each week. He's been getting, yeah, he's been getting abused. <laughs> he's a Twice changed he's man. He shouldn't have to take time, this. Man. Right? There's a reason he, t- he tried it out as a referee Twice and not a wrestler. Yeah. Oh, he needed a side head. Yeah, but there was also that, like, time two weeks ago, or not, like, three weeks ago, where he got kind of attacked by Joey Wheeler. By uh, his time roulette and then Jin <laughs> the next match. Poor Radisson. Yeah, the not an easy career. Using green, the ropes. Give him a good paycheck. One. Two. Oh, One. Kick. Apocalypse two. Two. kick out, which is impressive. Oh, Apocalypse. I thought, I thought Radisson would have seen that, but uh, apparently he's... It's great. Oh. He's too afraid of Vegeta jumping, to call jumping him Jumping clothesline by Apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, despite Vegeta knocking out Raditz, Raditz is not gonna like DQ Vegeta. He just, he just like pushed Raditz down. <laughs> yeah, it was a dick move. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, Raditz! I'm stronger. <laughs> Vegeta's also the one with like That's a true. wrestling job. Yeah, mm. I mean, he's he's successful with it. He's money in the bank. Vegeta ra- countering whatever Apocalypse is doing. It's just in his feet. Acrobatic. Oh, one. Right. Two. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you pin that, one. Tw- oh, two. okay. I thought that was, thought that was three. fall. thought that was three. But it was not. Suplex. What a powerful suplex by Apocalypse. 
lifting, a little fireman's carry there by Vegeta. And elbow by Apocalypse. Apocalypse looking around. Lifting. Nope. Don't nope, just. Vegeta's now bleeding. Ooh. Vegeta is now bleeding. Vegeta gentlemen. busted open. Because. You know, that's. Same blood. You don't you know, make him bleed. Same, same blood. Same blood. And all that. Or something. Yeah. I mean, I guess for the plus side of Vegeta, if that's he loses true. this match, he's that, only going to get stronger. Put him in that tank of stuff, it, right? and he's yeah. better. Yeah, and that tank of back just to, right? holy back water. Right? <laughs> Provided by Jesus. What? An elbow oh, by stuff. Vegeta! <laughs> One! <laughs> two! Yo, that's it! He's around for a little bit. <laughs> Oh, ring the bell. <laughs> Seth Seth Curry There's cannot you. believe it. No, 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 no. There's a, his brother's name is Seth Curry. Not Seth. He plays. <laughs> he plays for the Kings. Yeah, he plays for the Kings. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Yep. Oh. Cesaro, I'm really happy about Vegeta. How's winning. that? That's quite the little. Uh, this is my uh, favorite Vegeta yeah, match yeah, ever. Vegeta just because, like, yeah. he's done. It, he did everything that Vegeta would do. <laughs> yeah, he even got on Apocalypse and just spun a couple around times. He did a couple the back times. Back what? <laughs> Is there a name for that? Like, I don't know. It's just like there's a wrestler called Viscera who did that. And, and oh, that's, all right. that's all I got. By the way, Viscera was a 600 pound black man. Oh. Who's and his and his gimmick was the world's largest love machine. What? <laughs> <laughs> so you can understand. You know, this... right. Vegeta picking up a win. He would, what would he no, wrestle? He very non. Guy. But this has been yeah. this episode of Mag Nation Green. Yeah, it was some ups and downs. And one episode some rolls it was. And some one episode. You know, excitement portions. But either way. Yeah. yeah and, and, and some getting crunk on Reagan's. <laughs> All right. The riot is never coming back again. Uh. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, they're taking me away. Oh, shit. <laughs>